To understand each and every business and to run a successful sustainable one, you always need to understand the finances that goes behind any business, right? So if you're not able to understand the finances, you will never be able to create a sustainable business that would run properly. So it is very important for all the entrepreneurs and all the young businessmen to understand the finances, the basics of finances. You might not know uh, the finances as much as the chartered accountants know, but you should know the basics of the finances, the profit and loss, the cash flow, the balance sheet and all those basic terms you should be able to understand. So what I've done is that I'm going to start a series that is a series of finances in which I'm going to teach important concepts of finances one by one in each video right so it would be like one video per week or like uh, two videos per week uh, depending upon uh, the other content that i put out so but it would be at least a video per week for this finance series in today's video we are going to discuss the first and foremost financial concept that each and every person should know is decoding the balance sheet balance sheet is one of the most important financial documents that any business has it is a very interesting basic yet very important uh, financial concept that each and every entrepreneur should know so in today's video i am going to teach you how to decode a balance sheet of any business balance sheet helps you understand the financial health of the business and also predicting the sustainability of the business so if you want to learn more about balance sheet then do watch this video till the end and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to receive the latest notifications of my videos on time. So hi guys, my name is Siddhant and today we are going to discuss how to decode a balance sheet. So as I've already told you, balance sheet is one of the most interesting, very basic, yet most important part of any business's finance. And why is balance sheet so important? First of all, balance sheet tells you, indicates you, what is the current financial situation of your business and should you go down this path of profitability or even if you're incurring losses then it will also help you understanding what are your liabilities how much equity you own what are the assets that you own who are the stakeholders how much they own and it is very important to understand all these terms and all these financial concepts if you want to run a financially healthy business right so what is balance sheet balance sheet is a financial sheet that indicates the finances of the business and balance sheet has three main points that it includes first is the business's assets the second are the liabilities and the third are the equity right so you have assets liability and equity in the balance sheet and then from this a balance sheet of any business can be prepared if you are not aware of these financial terms what are assets what are liabilities what is an equity then you can go and watch my previous video regarding the financial terms that every startup entrepreneur should know right in simple words balance sheet shows what the business owns and what the business owes to other right so assets is something what the business owns and liabilities are something what the business owes to the external factors to other people right along with balance sheet there are two other documents that you should be able to interpret or decode the first is the profit and loss statement and the other one is cash flow statement because all these three together will help you analyze any business's financial health we will discuss about the profit and loss statement and the cash flow statement in further videos but for now let's focus on balance sheet so now as i've told you balance sheet is nothing but assets liabilities and equity assets are something that the business owns and assets can further be classified into two types right current assets and fixed assets so what are current assets current assets are those which can be easily converted into cash which are highly liquid right so these are the ones that you need to list first in your balance sheet current assets can be in the form of cash or any equivalent things it can be in the form of accounts receivable the accounts of payments that are going that you are going to receive it can be in the form of investments it can be in the form of inventory or the stock that your business holds so all these are current assets now speaking of fixed asset fixed assets are something that you own however converting it into cash is not an easy process right it may take time it can be in the form of equipment it can be in the form of land your business owns it can also be in the form of property or any infrastructure that your business owns right so assets can be classified as current and fixed right 
Now moving on to the second part that is what your business owes and those are the liabilities. Now liabilities can again be classified into current and long term. What are current? Current are those that you are going to pay off in the short period of time uh, like within one year. It can be in the form of taxes, it can be in the form of rent, it can be in the form of credit card bills, right? So those are the current liabilities. Speaking of long term, long term are those that you are going to pay off within a longer period of time. Like you are going to pay off a loan within 10 to 15 year period, right? It can also be in the form of bonds issued, it can be in the form of pension funds, anything that is going to be, th that is going to take a longer period of time to pay off. Now here there is one thumb rule that every entrepreneur or financially sound person should know that current liabilities are always to be paid with your current assets. So if you don't have much assets, it is better that you don't uh, go into having much of liabilities, right? Because at the end of the day, you should be having current assets to pay off your current liabilities. And therefore there is one thumb rule that is your current assets should be two and a half times that of your current liabilities. So in that case, you will be well off paying all your current liabilities and still uh, having a good amount of working capital by your side to run your business. Now moving on to the third term that is equity. Now equity is something that the stakeholders of business own and equity remains after you deduct liabilities from your assets. So equity is assets minus liabilities and equity is something that is owned by the stakeholders of the business. So now that we have understood what the balance sheet constitutes of, now we need to understand why is it so important. So the first point is that balance sheet as I've previously told you along with profit and loss statement and cash flow statement is very important to judge the financial situation current financial situation of any business. So if you don't have your balance sheet in place, if you don't have your profit and loss statements in place, then it will be very difficult to judge your business's financial position. Balance sheet, having a good balance sheet is always important to pay your taxes in time, even to get a loan from a bank or an institution or to get a funding from any external investor. Balance sheet is also very important to calculate some of the most important business ratios like debt to equity ratio, like uh, calculating the working capital turnover and also calculating the receivable turnover, right? So all those terms you need to understand and I'm going to make some more videos regarding the financial terms. Every entrepreneur should know part two. I have made the part one previously so you can go and watch that video. But if you want to know what are debt to equity ratio, what is working capital, what are uh, receivable turnover, then do comment in the comment section and I'll make that video as soon as possible. So the second point is that it is very important to figure out some of the most important ratios and finances in your business. Now the third point is that the balance sheet indicates the current position of your company, the snapshot of the current position of your company uh, at that given period of time, right? So if you want to figure out uh, some investments or if you want to figure out uh, something related to the valuations or changing your revenue model or uh, you want to figure out how to reduce your losses, then balance sheet will help you understand what is your financial situation at that given period of time, right? However, balance sheet is also important to predict the future of your business. And this can be done if you are able to ask the right questions and are able to interpret the right data from a balance sheet. So what are the right questions? What is the right way to interpret the data in the balance sheet? So here I'm going to tell you four questions that you need to ask to interpret any kind of balance sheet of any business, right? The first question you need to ask is, is does your business have enough liquid assets to cover the operating expenses. So that is what I've previously told you. Does your business have enough current assets to cover your current liabilities plus the operational or working costs of the business? So that is the first question you need to ask. The second question you need to ask is that do you have that enough flexibility in your assets uh, in case you need to pay off some emergency expenses or you need to pivot your business model or you need to change your business model. Always have an asset like business model and never have unnecessary equipment unnecessary assets in the form of land or property or infrastructure. The third question that you need to ask is what are the numbers related to your business trending in, right? In which direction are they trending in? Are they going up or are they going down or are they plateaued, right? And depending upon that, you can decide your revenue model, make some changes in your business model to improve the financial situation of your business, right? The fourth and the last but the most important question that you need to ask is 
can you keep on moving on the same path that you're moving on to create a sustainable business so if your numbers are trending upwards if you have low liabilities more assets if you hold more equity that means your business is stable in fact it is profitable and you can continue on the same path to build a sustainable business however your assets are decreasing your revenue is decreasing your cash flow is decreasing but your liabilities are increasing your expenses are increasing your outflow is increasing in that case you need to take some serious decisions in terms of continuing to go on the same path of running a business. Now let's look at an example just to make you understand the balance sheet and the structure of balance sheet and how to interpret the balance sheet uh, just to make you understand it much better. Let's take an example, right? I have one uh, balance sheet just for an example. It does not belong to any company or any firm. So let's have a look at the balance sheet, right? As you can see on the screen, the first thing that we can see is that there are three main components. There are the assets, there are the liabilities, and there is stockholders equity. Now within assets, you can see current assets, right? Cash and cash equivalent, short term investment, receivable uh, accounts. You also have fixed asset in form of land, land improvement, buildings, equipment, right? All those things. And you also have some intangible assets. Now intangible assets can be in the form of patents, copyrights, trademarks, or goodwill as it is mentioned in this balance sheet. So it can be in the form of anything and they also hold a monetary value. So you need to figure out that monetary value and you need to add them in your assets. So here you can see it as current assets, fixed assets, intangible assets, and then the total assets sum up to $770,000, right? Now moving on to the second part that is liabilities. Here you can again see current liabilities and long-term liabilities, and then the total liabilities sum up to $481,000. Okay, so assets are much higher than the liabilities. Okay, it seems to be fine. So now the third part is stockholders equity. You can see that the stakeholders own some common stock, retained earnings and other accumulated comprehensive income sources, right? So from there you can get the stockholders equity that is $289,000. So as I've already told you how you can calculate the equity so you can deduct the liabilities from your assets. So in this case, total equity would be total assets minus total liabilities. $770,000 minus $481,000, which gives $289,000, right? So in this case, that is the amount of equity which is held by the stakeholders of the business. So I hope you have understood the concept of balance sheet. It is very basic and we can uh, dive down into deeper things related to balance sheets and calculating debt to equity ratios and all other uh, receivable turnover, all those things. But we will do it in the coming video. If you need to have a look at more templates, more examples of balance sheet, then I'm going to give a link to the Google Drive where you can go and you can access uh, the folders in which you will have an access to some more examples of balance sheet and a blank balance sheet template as well, which will help you create your own balance sheet. Now, generally, uh, balance sheet is created with help of some uh, very good softwares like GenBal, uh, which is used by most of the chartered accountants. However, if you're a small startup or a small business owner, and if you're just starting new, you can do all those things just on an Excel spreadsheet, right? So if you know how to use Microsoft Excel, you can do all of these things in Excel very easily. And if you have not checked my previous video on financial terms that every startup entrepreneur should know, you can click the I button or you can go back uh, to my channel and you can uh, see that video as well. Also do comment your thoughts in the comment section below. You can also suggest some topics uh, that you want to learn related to business, finance or anything related to startup or entrepreneurship world and I'll cover it in the coming videos. So I hope you liked the video, you understood something, you learned something from this video. Then do hit the like button, share, comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't till yet. And also hit the bell icon to receive the latest notifications of my latest videos on time. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care, thank you.